Hi y'all, this is Gina here. Welcome to my channel and my new subscribers and Merry Christmas everybody. Today I am going to um, basically show you how to prepare my molds before I pour my resins. In other words, I prepare, this is a video on preparing your molds before pouring. So today I'm using some of my Artezas, my mica powders, and I have 35 colors in this box that I hauled a while back ago. I think I have a video on that. <coughs> and I am going to do this coffee mug. I really don't want to tell you where I get my molds and stuff because they don't want to support me and if they don't want to support me doing my videos for their using of their products I don't feel that I need to let them let y'all know where I get my molds they don't want to support me at all so I just assume well there's a lot of businesses out there that sell all kinds of molds I go through Etsy I go through Amazon, I go everywhere, even uh, Puerto Rico. There's so many businesses out there doing molds, it's unreal. So, I have a few that I will introduce to y'all that I uh, get from uh, other companies that they do support me, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do it in this video. So, what you're going to do is I'm going to have this coffee mold, it's a coffee cup. <coughs> keychain excuse me let me get something to drink okay oh, there's several ways about about pouring you can use paint glitter uh, mica powders all kinds of things this is going to be part one so what I'm going to do is put this in white the coffee cup lid and this in brown and this in a um, that's my caramel brown and this is my strawberry red and I'm using crystal white so where I use I usually have some <coughs> I forgot to pick some up when I went to the Dollar Tree earlier some makeup brushes those little cheap ones are really cool to use I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply this on the mold I hope everybody's ready for Christmas I did all my shopping online and had it delivered to them and they were so excited I think a lot of people instead of going to town and fighting the malls and the traffic yeah and make sure your molds are clean I'm getting ready for Valentine's Day and that's what I'm doing today I'm preparing my molds and then I'm gonna pour And the mica powders, uh, I think they're cool. Yes, you could use these in so many ways. Basically, I think makeup mica powders is just makeup, y'all. Just makeup. And that's basically what it is, makeup. I just want to make sure I get it all in the grooves.
think I'm satisfied with that. We don't know. We shall see. <laughs> and then we're going to go with the Arteza. This is caramel brown. And that number's A716. I'm sorry, I didn't even give you the first one that I used. It's crystal white. And that's A702. Yeah. There's a lot of them I haven't even used, y'all. And I, um... And we're just gonna daub it, dab it, daub it, dab it. Nick, name it. Did you hear what I said? Eh. <laughs> uh. And we're just gonna dab, 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 dab. I was just so ready for this break, y'all. I was so ready for this break. I wanted to catch up because I had to close up my little shop. And I think I got too much, but that's okay. Oh, there's my honey. He's ready for enchiladas now. It's 4.30, he said. Right when I'm getting ready to... Well, I'm not going to pour. I'm just... Right now, trying to get my moles ready before I pour. Yeah, I had a little bit too much, but that's okay. It'll be all right. And like I said, make sure you get it. I don't know if I got in the. got out of frame. Sorry. But I want my edges all concealed with the powder. A lot of girls ask me, Huckabee, you never tell us where you get your your, uh, your molds. Well, and I threw a little rant on Instagram, so I just said, okay, this is the deal. If they want to support me, I will let them know that I am shouting out their business to my followers. But if they don't want to support me, man, I ain't supporting them. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way it is. I've done this mold one time. It came out cute. I wish I had it to show you, but it, it was sold real quick at the craft fair, so. I want to kind of deep red. So I'm gonna make sure I get it all fit in. Now I got this little cowboy boot. So I need to find me a black. Uh, hmm. This is space gray. This is the closest I'm gonna get. And that is uh, chocolate brown. I don't have, nope. This is the closest I'm gonna get. And I'm gonna tell y'all, these mica powders, when you buy them, you're gonna see, I don't know, can you see that? Some are higher and lower because of the weight. Did that make sense?
they all have different weights so I used a brush last time and it was like going everywhere I don't know so yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and be happy with that for his little heel They're all numbered. I think I have them all messed up anyways. And this is the Carmel Brown. That's gold. That's a bronzy color. <laughs> I haven't done this cowboy boot, so... I'm gonna go with this chocolate one. I mix it with that red. in a pan. Okay, now that we've got all of our ice creams done, but let's do some, I don't know if I want to do these with mica or with some glitter. I think I'm going to do with some glitter and some to make it look pop, make it pop out better. Okay, and I'll see you when it's time to pour. Bye. Hi, y'all. This is Gina. Welcome to my channel. This is just showing the demolding on our mica flakes, powders. What are they? Where are the Artesas? And as you can see that I had overflowed here, but we could still fix those. And I did one already uh, just to see if they were ready um i'm gonna go ahead and do uh my cowboy boot first because if you're in texas you have to have a cowboy so i hope everybody's having a great week got all your christmas shopping done Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I like that. I really do like this. And then I'm going to put some bling on here when I dome it. I'll put some uh, rhinestones, little gems, because this is a girl cowboy boot. I really like how that turned out, y'all. You know? I'll really see if it comes off. No. And my love cup. That one turned out cute. I'm sorry about the glare, y'all. I should have went with the darker, but that's okay. That turned out, I should have went more with the... Yeah, that 
as it come off. It's almost transparent. Yeah. So there's those two. Be like Chevy J's drum roll, please. <laughs> Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Now I added the fruits. Um, you can barely see them. Yeah, you can barely see them through the mica powders. Now these didn't have mica powder, so I had some extra on them. that resin that I mixed. Yeah, you can barely see them. But although they came out cute, they came out really cute. You can barely see them. See? Lesson learned. We'll have to fix this guy. Doman. If I just use glitter, because paint, you won't be able to see it unless I lay them on top. That's the only way I can do it. So when I, before I dome, I can lay them on top, the fruits, then dome them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, I'm not too worried about it because I'm in a dome and I'm going to have to trim it after I dome them. And this is the same with extra. Um, I had extra resin that I didn't want to waste so I use what I had that one you can see a little bit not too much but in that I, that that was a different I used the gold mica and this one too you can see them on the back And not on the front. And that was just another I had left over of that resin. I didn't even put any fruit in there. I just left it alone. On this one. It's real light on that side, but it's on here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, use them as charms on this set. <coughs> and then put a, the, that one you can barely see them on the what I'm trying to say put the fruit on top and then dome them and 
this was just an extra resin that I had. I had a lot of glitter in that, so you could barely see the fruit. <laughs> I had a lot of glitter. What was it that I used it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This one was the... Oh, the red. The, not the red, but the uh, bubble gum. That was the bubble gum, y'all. That's what that one was. I'll fix them later before doming. I got a lot of doming to do. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. I had to order my dome mats. give the Arteza mica powders an A. Tell me what you think about it on the in the description box below. Like, comment, and share this video. Bye y'all.